ahead and open up CodeHS. We're going to jump down to that HTML structuring websites area. We are working on formatting text, which is 2.3. Follow that over to the third bubble. It says dictionary. And I want you to wipe out everything that's in there. So if you have content in there, go ahead and highlight all of it and hit backspace or delete to get rid of it. And we'll just follow along here. So we're going to learn some new tags, but review some old things too. So the first thing I just want to review is to make a web page. We're always going to go to docs. It always needs these tags on a web page. So that's a good place to start. And then we're going to give this a title called format. And that remember is just in, it's not a title on the web page. It doesn't do anything in here, but it does add format to the title here. So there's nothing on my web page because everything on my web page needs to go in the body. So I took out, I'm sorry, I took out, there's a little green area, two lines that's in there. It's a comment. I'm going to kind of delete and then hit enter a couple of times. So another little review, we learned background color and that's in the body tag. I just hit the space bar after the body and I'm going to add BG color equals whatever color you want to add. The new stuff. This text is bold. Okay, so if I want to bold a word, this is the word text. I want just the word text to be bold. So the tag for bold is B. So as soon as I type a tag, it puts the closing tag there. Got to remember that this tag needs to move after the word text. So I'm going to cut it and paste it. So click after text and paste it. So you should see a tag, the word text, and then the closing tag. So if I refresh it, I have a background that's yellow. I have this text is bold. And then that word text is bold. Um, it stands out a little bit more than the text around it. It turns off the, the word is and bold is not bold because I turned the bold off right here. So it never reaches is bold. Let's do another one. This text is italics. You might be able to guess what italics is. We're going to do the same thing, except it's the letter I. So a tag with the letter I for italics and a closing tag for italics. It comes after the word text. So this text is italics. And let's do one more underline. This is underline. This time I'm going to um, underline the word underline. It's a U. And then I'm going to move the closing tag between the word and the period because you never underline punctuation. And then this text is underlined. What you're probably seeing is that there is, I'm typing on a separate line. I hit enter after this period to put this text as italics here, but it's not happening here. So you have to instruct your computer to do that as well. So if you want this text is italics to appear on the next line down here. The code is a break tag. So it's a tag with a BR. And if I hit refresh, that bumps this down to the next line. Now I will tell you that this is a cheat code. Technically there's an opening and a closing just like this. There's an opening bold and there's a closing bold, but you can get away without using the closing break tag in this case. Um, if you, so that forced it to the next line, but there's also a P tag. So, um, it stands for paragraph and there's a closing for that. So it just popped up, but you can kind of cheat a little bit too and not use it, but it's probably not a good habit for me to get in. You can see the P tag is like hitting. So it's after the word italics after that period, and it creates this blank line. It's like hitting enter twice. So the break tag is like hitting enter once the P tag is like hitting enter two times. 
And the last thing I'm going to show you is there is a tag called horizontal rule. It's an HR tag and it stands for horizontal rule. And when you type that in, and again, there's a closing for it, but this is like another exception to the rule where you don't have to type, type the closing. You type an HR tag and you hit refresh, you get this line. Now this line you can change just like we changed body BG color equals yield. We changed the body. So on the next line down, I'm going to put HR color. It's not background color. It's the color of the line. So I'm not putting BG in there. So it's background. It's, I'm sorry, HR color equals, let's make it red. And that makes a second line because I have the first one is the original. The second line is the red one. And you mar normally wouldn't have this many lines on there, but I just want to show you the difference. And we're going to do one more. So HR color equals red size equals five. The bigger the number, the thicker the line will be. So you can change that five to like 10. There's no limit. And that makes a thicker line. So now that you know how to do bold, italics, underline, you know how to use horizontal rule. And you also know how to do a P tag, which is double space. And break tag is like hitting enter once, so hitting enter twice, hitting enter once. You have enough knowledge to tackle these three pencils. So you are going to be working on section two, three, four, section two, three, five, and section two, three, six. And remember, you're working to hit the test cases and make sure you have all green check marks. When you do, you hit submit and continue. Good luck. Let me know if you have questions.